Hi everyone, welcome to Advice to Think Twice. This is Monica and I'm doing our next 10 days readings. I hope you're doing well. This is going to be for Gemini or on the air signs. So Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. You can also watch this if you are dealing with a Gemini, but take what resonates as it resonates with your situation. Charlie, Charlie, roles can be reversed. Sorry. Um, don't force anything to fit. Eight of Wands. Fast movement, communication. Um, like, share, comment, and subscribe if you haven't. Thank you so much if you have. If you have any significant Pisces placements, check out my second channel linked below, Pisces Tarot and Advice. And as of the recording of this video, I am all caught up in personal readings, so now would be a great time to get one if you wanted one. Ace of Wands flipped out in reverse, though. So something to do with false starts, and now it's like full speed ahead something that felt like a false start we'll see if it comes out in the reading but that could be a side message I forgot what I was saying oh details on how to <laughs> order a personal reading are in the description box below the process has changed a little bit all right what's going on for Gemini in the next seven to ten days for Gemini six of swords definitely movement movement away from troubled times or troubled waters, instability, chaos. So let's see, what's going on for Gemini? Bottom of the deck, temperance, taking your time, Sagittarius energy, waiting for the right time could also talk about union, reconciliation. Current situation, the Ace of Pentacles. New opportunity. The challenge, the Hermit. Virgo energy. Knowledge, information. Someone's uh, closed off. Not knowing something could be a challenge. In the foundation, we have the Chariot. Cancer energy. Recently, we have the Six of Swords. On the mind, the king of swords, your energy. You're making decisions, you're large and in charge. Near future, the fool. New beginning, clean slate, taking a chance on something. Highest yourself, we have the tower. I feel like you're angry about something. In your environment, we have the devil, Capricorn energy. Hopes and fears, the six of pentacles. You want something to be balanced and reciprocated and I feel like it's not and it's ticking you off. Page of Cups in the outcome, though. So this could be some sort of power struggle going on, Gemini. Okay, got to be honest with you. I feel like you're trying to work with someone, but they're not trying to work with you. Okay, it could be to do with uh, money, new job or promotion, advancement, a new beginning, a new investment of any sort. Okay, could involve a cancer individual. Or this is about progression, moving forward. Things have kind of been stuck. Your progress has been stunted. Because someone has been taking too long to make a decision of whether or not they're going to meet you in the middle. So long that you decided to just release this, walk away, Six of Swords, however that makes sense. In the near future with the Fool, you're like, okay, changing course changing path you could be taking a chance on something else with the fool which is when whatever this is that you are leaving because it's unfair and imbalanced um, is going to try to come back because it's like they thought you were playing games they were playing games so they thought you were playing games you were not playing Gemini you, you, you were not playing so now they're saying, oh, wait, Gemini is leaving? No, we can't have Gemini leave. So in the outcome, we have the Page of Cups. Well, there's some sort of, uh, it's good news, it's communication, it could be an apology um, and praise and recognition and it's nice words, but we'll see if they actually do something as, or if it's just nice words to keep you from going, okay? So let's see, what's the full in the near future for Gemini? The King of Wands, the Two of Cups, and the Knight of Wands. Yeah, something different. Something different. 
fire sign energy, Aries, Leo, Sag, something different, something new, a new job opportunity or a new partnership opportunity, a new collaboration opportunity, whatever the case may be, you fill in the blanks, right? And you're deciding to take a chance on that. And then the Page of Cups and the outcome, we have the High Priestess, the Five of Cups, and the Queen of Pentacles. It'll be a little different for everyone. The Nine of Pentacles under Temperance. Yeah, I feel like you're trying to join forces with someone, meet someone in the middle, collaborate with someone. But uh, they've not been pulling their weight. They've been taking too long to decide whether or not they want to invest with you, in you. Um, recognize your worth. Recognize your uh, efforts and match them somehow. So this is where you're not recognized at work. And you're saying, listen... I'm already doing more than I should be doing. I'm not asking for much. I'm just asking for recognition in the form of that bonus you told me I would get or that promotion you told me I would get if I did this. Or, you know what I mean? And they're not doing it. The hermit, they just keep you guessing. They just keep you waiting. So you made a decision to detach from this and you started looking. You opened yourself up to options. You opened yourself up to possibilities, okay, to alternatives, which means you either started applying for other jobs or you looked, you put your CV online or you just said, you know what, if anything else comes up, I'll consider it. Whereas before you wouldn't have done that, right? Because you were loyal to this situation. And you have this new thing that's coming in. They're catching wind of that somehow. I don't know if you're telling them or somehow they, they find out that you, you tell someone else in your environment and they tell this person. This could be your manager, for example, right? And then they're coming at you, oh sweet, and Gemini, hold on, let's talk about this. But I'm still not seeing action. Pages are not action cards. The High Priestess is not an action card. The Five of Cups is more waiting and feeling a loss. And Queens are not action cards to me in my readings or in this particular one. Queens are passive energy. They nurture, they're patient. And they allow for things to come together in their own time. Okay, I would have liked to see a king energy matching your energy. Where they're saying, let's do this. This is what we want to do. This is what we want to offer you because we recognize you. Here's your offer. Here's your whatever. Okay, some action. But this is rather more hurry up and wait. When they're uh, confident with the fact that you're not going to leave, everything goes back to same old, same old. You go back to waiting. Okay. But it will cost you this Two of Cups opportunity. Okay, so Gemini, I want you to be very careful. Don't you shoot yourself in the foot. Don't trade an offer, a concrete offer, for a promise of an offer. It's two very different things. And you have to make your decisions based on the here and now. Not what something could be, would be, if this and that and the other. And especially when this has already kept you waiting. Does that make sense? If you're dealing with someone and they just refuse to meet you in the middle, they refuse to do right by you. It's a friend, it's someone you're dating or someone you're with and you keep trying to talk to them, okay? There could have been a trial separation, you took a break and now they're trying to, you're still trying to work with them. You know what I mean? You're still trying to, let's talk about this, let's fix this. And they keep dragging their feet um, they're very controlling, they're very stubborn, they don't want to meet you in the middle in any sort of way. You're in the temperance energy, let's talk about this, let's figure a way out, out of this mess to where we're both happy. They're in me, 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 I want what I want when I want it energy. You're not going to get on the same page with this person unless you give them what they want. Unless you lay down, you let them walk all over you, otherwise they're never going to meet you in the middle. They don't know what that is, they don't care. And here comes this other individual out of the blue. And the interest is mutual. The conversation flows. The interest is mutual. And they ask you out. What do you do? Do you keep waiting for this person that's already shown you what they're going to do and how they're going to treat you? That, that's just, there's nothing more, uh, more than that that they've got to offer. Because I see with the Tower and the Devil, there's a very strong bond here. There's a very strong attachment. There's a lot of passion uh, and chemistry with this past person. It could just be what's familiar to you. 
okay, it's patterns, but is it mutual? Is it fair? Is it balanced? Well, no. So even if they come to you and they say nice things, or they're making promises, they want you to miss out on this opportunity more than they want to follow through on their promises. It's more about you missing out on this opportunity to leave them rather than actually them stepping up to the plate. Does that make sense? So I want you to be very careful, Gemini. You have uh, an opportunity to break a pattern here, to break a bond with something that has been a waste of time, breadcrumbing, controlling, constant fighting to be seen, constant fighting to be heard because you're dealing with someone who's very controlling or very selfish or very self-involved. And while there's a lot of attraction, potential, chemistry, or the money that they're talking about is great, but are you actually seeing that? Are they actually offering you that? Or they're just talking to you about it or talking at you and it never goes anywhere. Do you know what I mean? Whereas this other opportunity is coming in unexpectedly out of the blue it's very new you don't have history at all with this person or in this field or with this company they're making you an offer and they're ready to follow through immediately they are showing up in king energy okay so it's your choice so i'm going to leave it there all right i hope the reading helps you okay so good luck to you and i'll see you in the next video Bye for now.